Hi guys! So the magical day of Monday 26th of November is almost upon us. That's the day when Hobonichi Weeks fans the world over rejoice because we can finally start using our new 2019 weeks. So in preparation for the glorious event, I have started setting up my 2019 weeks and I wanted to show it to you today. I'll be replacing my 2018 weeks, which is the Magicant map cover, and I've really loved using this over the year, and as you can see, it's very well loved and well used and ready to go on the archive shelf. So I'm using a different cover for the 2019 weeks. This is actually a cover that I've had for a few years now. It's a cork travel wallet made by the company Corkor. I'll leave their website linked down below. And I've also done a review of this amazing cover if you're interested, which I will leave linked down below as well. It's a very simple travel wallet made out of cork, which just fits the weeks absolutely perfectly. So you'll see that the travel wallet doesn't have a pen loop, but that's not actually a problem because as long as you have a pen with a clip, it will fit perfectly in these pockets here and it still allows it to close perfectly so I'm really happy about that I've got a very minimalist setup here I just have the pen and some blotter paper and the weeks in here on the right hand side it just fits into this pocket here if I need to put anything else in here like receipts or random things like business cards that I sometimes get while I'm out, I can put them in these pockets. But I'm planning to keep this very streamlined. So as you can see, I've got the Matte Blue Sneaker Weeks Mega, which I'm really excited to start using. And the first thing that I did was decorate the dashboard. So I should mention here that last year, my decorating strategy was tons of stickers everywhere and that's what I have done throughout the year and it worked really well for me. I used Happy Planet Value Pack stickers and that was great. But as I came closer to the end of the year, I started to get concerned by how fat this had become, which is totally fine for the standard weeks. That's what I was using this year. But for the weeks mega, I was concerned that it would like triple in size and just get too chunky, which I wouldn't mind if it were not for the fact that this is my on-the-go planner which I carry around with me everywhere and I really didn't want it to get too bulky. So I decided to go for a different uh, aesthetic this year and I thought that I would miss having the colors and the decoration you know if I just use paper and pen and so I decided to go for doodles with colored pencils and I've been experimenting with this over the last few weeks and I'm really happy with the new look. So I decided that my word for 2019 would be recharge because that's something I really want to focus on doing. I've just been really like burnt out and exhausted for the last number of years and I'm trying to change that. And so I put some doodles on here which I thought went with the spirit of recharge. So happy planner value pack uh, of stickers even though I won't be using it in this planner, I'll be using it in one of my other planners. A Hobonichi, YouTube, fountain pen, coffee movie night, etc. So that's the front dashboard and it makes me really happy to look at it. Then we've got the yearly calendar and I'm going to use this to mark when I change my fountain pen. So I refilled it, I mean when I refill it with ink. So I refilled it on the 26th of October. Well, that was actually the first time I filled it when I started um, setting up this planner. And so I thought it would be interesting to track how often I need to refill it and then that would mean I'd be able to predict when it was running low on ink and not get stuck, you know, in the middle of the day when I'm out without uh, any ink because I do have a travel bottle of ink that I carry around with me but it's blue and I'm only going to be using black ink in this planner because of the doodles which I'll show you a bit more in a minute. So I just decided I wanted it to be monochromatic and have the colour come from the doodles. So. The next spread is the vertical yearly spread and I've decided to use that to track my bank balance. I did this two years ago and I quite liked having the bank balance all spread out on uh, one two page spread so that I could easily compare month to month and so I decided I'm going to do that again this year. And then we go into the month on two page spreads and for that I'm going to use it in a similar way to how I've been using it for the last couple of years which is for tracking. So here I'm going to track online orders, which should be quite rare because I'm doing a kind of tailored shopping ban. So 
it's not a no spend. I'm still buying things that are essential, but I'm not buying um, like, you know, like planner supplies or fun, frivolous things that I don't need unless I have a like specific use for them. So I've just put in some decorations here to do with Hanukkah because December is um, Hanukkah. It's at the beginning of the month. And usually over here I put in some vision, like I just write down a phrase of something that I'm hoping will happen or that I want to focus on. So I've only decorated the first month, but I'll just carry on with that as the months go by. And then we get to the first week in the weekly spreads. I have one of the new 2019 Shitajikis here, which I really like. And you can see what the decorating style that I've gone for looks like. So on the left hand side, I'm just going to list events that are happening during the week and to do's. So I don't put my appointments in here because my appointments all go in my work planner, which is my Hobonichi cousin, just so that I have everything in one place and I never need to switch back and forth if I need to know whether I need, you know, whether I can make an appointment on a given day. So that's all in the work planner, whether it's a work appointment or not. And here I put things that are either fun, like Monday night is our date night where we go to the cinema and sometimes to Wagamama, the restaurant. So I've put that in here because it's not really an appointment that I need to know about and I put it in my work planner as well. It's kind of more for fun. And then on the side here, I've just decorated this with some nice images of things that I want to remind myself of during the week or that make me happy. So obviously oat lattes are a big favorite and then Instagram photos because I'm trying to take an Instagram photo every day. The pineapple is just for fun. And then uh, it's payday on Friday the 30th, yay. And then I've uh, put in a uh, marker here for Shabbat, the Jewish Sabbath. And Sunday night is Erev Hanukkah, which is the first evening of Hanukkah. And then on the right hand side, and this may change from week to week, but for now I've set it up so that I've got to-dos in the top half, and these are to-dos that don't have a specific day attached to them. I can also use it for random notes, cinema times, anything that just comes up that I want to note down. And shopping here, this is for groceries, if there are things that we need from the supermarket or um, you know, other food shops. And then here is vision. So this is where I write down things that I am worried about, that I want to have a positive outcome. And so I write them down here, kind of framed in a positive light, as in like, you know, this nice thing has happened or is happening. So I don't have to worry about it anymore. And then there's just some decorations here. So the inspiration for all of these doodles is the Happy Planner value stickers because I've been using them all through the year and so I'm kind of familiar with how they look. Obviously much simplified and streamlined. And I've done the week after as well and I've labeled the days of Hanukkah. So Hanukkah lasts for eight days and you light a candle on each day and so the number of candles grows and so I've just uh, drawn a different um, menorah for each day with different number of candles and here's Shabbat again. And then this time I boxed off the shopping list and doodled some fruit next to it. And I've got the to-do and the vision and I've put in the cinema. Our boiler is getting serviced on this day, so I wrote that in as well. And other than that, I'm just going to write in pen. So this will be the decoration for the week and I'll set this up sometime in the preceding week. And then I don't have to worry about decorating it or color coding anymore. I just write everything in black ink. And that's all I have for the weekly spreads so far. Then when we turn to the note pages, this is something that I'm extremely happy about with the weeks, having all of this extra note space. I've decided to divide my week's notes pages into two sections, daily spreads and everything else, which will just be notes and collections. So I've calculated that if I use one page per three days roughly, that gives me about 120 pages for the year. So that's how I've divided it. And then I've got the notes pages starting here. This, by the way, and this one, which marks off the bank balance sheet, um, these come in the pack of monthly tabs from Hobonichi, which were released for the first time this year. And I use my monthly tabs in my cousin because I don't really need them in this. I, I feel like for the weeks I don't need to have monthly tabs because I have a bookmark in the current spread, you know, for the for the 
upcoming week and I don't really need to know what month it is or flick back and forth between months. So I didn't use the monthly tabs in that but I did really like these because there's some pages that I just need to be able to flip to quickly. So the bank balance, even though it's near the beginning of the book, I just like to be able to have it tabbed. And then the same thing for the beginning of the notes section. So I know that all of this is dailies and I'm going to have another pencil board in here so that I'll easily be able to flip to the correct page in the dailies. And all of this will be daily spreads. And then this is where the collections start. So I've noted down TV shows that I want to watch. And I've given two pages for that. Obviously, if I run out of room, I'll be able to start another spread later on. And then videos that I want to make and a list of some fun stuff that we're going to do this Hanukkah because we usually don't really do anything fun for Hanukkah and this has been an issue over the years because I have always been working all the time and this is one of the goals of my recharge project is to make time for fun things so we sat down and brainstormed some nice things that we can do and we're going to rigorously enforce them so you can see from the daily spreads that I'm going to be decorating these as well and I'm taking a similar to approach to what I did last year with stickers in my weeks which is just to put some decorations around the side maybe at the top and then the rest will be pretty plain but there will be something uh, giving some color to the pages and so I'm just going to write some quotes you know based on the happy planner stickers and just put in some colorful stuff and I'll just do that so that I've got a few pages at least decorated in advance and uh, you know I, I always will be writing on a page that has some colorful decoration and I'm going to do that with the collections as well. So I don't have anything in the back here. There isn't really anything in the back that lends itself to writing on. Um, sometimes I put some codes like uh, discount codes for the cinema. We get a discount on Monday evenings and so I sometimes put codes like that in here just so I have them for easy reference but I haven't got anything like that yet. And that's it. So I'm really, really excited to start using this. I can't wait for the 26th of November, a week from today, when I will be starting to use my beautiful new sneaker weeks. And at that point, I'm going to add in some more pencil boards, which are currently in my 2018 week. So I'm going to have one for the monthly spread, one for the weekly spread, one for the daily spread, and then one for the collections that I'm on, like the, the last page in the collection section so that I can just easily flip back and forth between them. Because as you probably know, there are no inbuilt bookmarks in uh, the sneaker weeks, which is totally fine with me because I like using the pencil boards anyway. So that is it. That is my preliminary setup for my 2019 Weeks Mega, and I'm really excited to start using it. And I'll update you once I've been using it for a while and show you how it's going. So best wishes to all of you fellow Weeks fans for next Monday, the 26th of November. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.